Hey guys, this is Ryan the Geeky Veep. Today we're going to dive into Power Pivot just a little bit and hopefully create a video series on Power Pivot. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the first things I want to show you here is my spreadsheet. I have a sales table with different sales, uh, so many sales every day. I have the date, product name, the region it was sold in, quantity, and the sales amount. Um, and it looks like I have about 46,000 rows worth of information. Okay, easy enough. Uh, and that's something you could probably put into a pivot table. But I also have another table over here to the right. And this is what I would call, it's a fact table or a lookup table. So for example, here I have this Mountain 100 Silver 44 bike. If you come over here, you'll be able to find it. And it's only listed once in this table. It tells you what the color is, the subcategory, and it also tells you the category. So it's a mountain bike and in the category of bikes. And I have several subcategories and several categories in this fact table. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a pivot table using Power Pivot and connect to these two separate tables at the same time. So let me show you two different ways to load your information into Power Pivot. The easiest way is if you click on the Power Pivot uh, ribbon here the tab, and then just select, click on the add to data model under the table section here. If you do that, let me pull this up here. Excel's IntelliSense will figure it here's, it automatically selected the data for me, but you can select it yourself if, you, if it doesn't select it correctly. We have headers, so let me make sure I check that. Click OK. And you can see that the power pivot window itself has just popped up. So this information is loaded. It's table one. I will close this, but I will say that it makes sense to go ahead and um, give a name for your tables if you can. So what I should have done was go ahead and converted this into a table and then renamed it. Okay, so now the second way to do this takes a little bit longer, but I highly recommend you use um, this method going forward. You need to get used to pulling in information via the Power Query tab. Pretty close to the same thing. Um, you would just come over here to Excel data, um, or if you had any other external um, data, you would connect to this way. But for this, we're going to select From Table. There's the table and it already knows through IntelliSense that my table has headers. I'll click OK. And now we're into the query editor. I'm not going to really edit anything other than let's name the table. Let's call it category. OK. And now when we go to close and load you have two choices. Sometimes you can just do close and load here, but if you want to load this to your data model, you want to go down to close and load too. And that's where we get this little window here. We don't want to have it selected as a table because if you do that, it will just be placed into another table directly onto your Excel spreadsheet. We want to create a connection. And then finally, add it to the data model. This will put it into that power pivot window you just saw. Click load. Okay. So now let's go back to the power pivot tab and we're going to go to the data model. Notice down below here, we have our table one, our sales table, and then we have our category table. Perfect. So the next thing we want to do is connect those two tables, sort of like a, a VLOOKUP table. We're doing a V lookup. You go to diagram view. This is our sales table. We'll put the category table up above. We're going to drag product name up to product name. And then we've established a connection. Great. Okay. 
So we can go ahead and close this window. Now at this point, we have everything loaded into the data model. So I'm going to create a simple pivot table. And if you remember looking at, go back to my pivot table um, videos, we're not gonna select from data here in Excel. We're gonna actually click on use an external data source. We can uh, browse and, and find tables, but what we wanna do is we click over here and this shows us our tables in the data model. Select that, click open. We can put it in the existing worksheet. And now if you come over to the right, in fact, let me rearrange this so you can see it a little bit better. <clears throat> we have our category table. Oh, sales, it did rename it for us, great. And table three, which is, there's another um, table out there, but these are the two tables that I wanna use. So I can click on, if I go to sales and I bring like sales amount down to the values, that's great. Um, however, I want to have the category because that is not in my sales table. And there we go. We see accessories, bikes, and clothing in the total dollar amount. So we could have had um, you know, many tables, a dozen different tables in here all connected and um, just very easily put into a pivot table and there you go. So that's our first step in Power Pivot. Um, next I'll show you, in the next video, I'll show you a couple of different DAX formulas um, to help you build even better pivot tables. Thanks for watching. See you next time.